Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. I think it's time for an other, another ETH update. Um, as you know, I've been following this downtrend here on this channel. My view was always that the low is not yet in. And even now, I am skeptical if the low is already in. Um, it is very important, very good actually. Well, maybe not good, but it is very, very... Um, it should we, we should focus on on this fact that the seventeen hundred dollar level did hold so far. So at the moment, it is still possible that this wave one here did begin down here end of July. Yeah, so that we came up in a wave one, we made our A B, and we are now in the C wave, which could theoretically still. Oh, let me close the window. There's actually a plane flying by. Um, which could end still theoretically at $1,700, or it could have already ended. But my view is because we already came down to the $1,700 level, and based on what the price is doing at the moment, also structurally, I would believe my view is that we are still that we still haven't seen the low yet. And therefore, I think it is similar to Bitcoin, because in the end, always when I had a different wave count from Ethereum and Bitcoin, in the end, it was it was in the end following Bitcoin. Um, pretty much so i've um i've added basically here the wave five which well has always been there i believe um but i've added another higher wave wave count so i think it's more looking like that that we have here with this wave five we completed a higher degree wave four uh, wave three that we are now in this wave four this could already be complete why let's take a look at the fib levels again we start at the low or at the beginning of that wave three we draw them down to the wave three and Try to be accurate. So, as I always say, the minimum for a wave four retracement is the 23.6% Fibonacci retracement level. So, ideally, you would get that price here into this region between 23.6 and the 50% Fib retracement. Yeah. So, let me take those other target areas out because they were reached. So, in this wave four, you should at least reach $2,050. Now, that has been reached. The ideal target for that retracement would be the $2,260 level at the 38.2% Fibonacci level or even the 50% at 2440 If we go above that, it would be very, very unlikely that it's still a wave 4. Then we might face the situation that the low was already in. Okay, um, But at the moment, what we can see here is that the minimum of that wave 4 retracement has been reached. I think price is struggling a little bit. From here, we could now already turn down in that wave five. What is very striking, very important to understand that basically four different waves end here. Yeah, So this will be a, a significant low. Why four waves? Let me show you. This would be like that because we have this overall higher degree light blue wave one, which is going to end in a wave two. Within that, we have this yellow ABC pattern which is also going to end there. Within the waves ABC, well, within the C wave, we've got a five wave move. One, two, three, four, five. This is going to end down here. Within that wave five, we also have this green wave. This should actually be a five here. Let me change that. This green wave five. So we've got four different waves that are going to end. This will be a significant low. Yeah, and this will end somewhere down here. What would be the ideal target? Well, I can only tell you that we've got the, so first of all, from a Fibonacci point of view, it, I can tell you, it depends, it depends. If the $17 level is going to hold, it would just be a significant double bottom and we could start from here. First possibility, probably the most bullish one, yeah, because we are not going to drop below the $1,700 level, which has provided so much support. Yeah, it has provided support here in uh, May, June, July 21, and here again. So, and here obviously was an area of trade. So the $1,700 level is a significant area. So if we hold that, we could start from here to the upside. Alternative, that we break that $1,700 level, and then I need to draw the Fibonacci levels for that entire wave. Yeah, so starting from actually down there. Because the levels are so low, 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 it doesn't probably even make a big difference where I start. So let's start there. And the ideal level for that move down would be actually $1,124. Yeah, this is a 78.6% Fibonacci level. 
as it happens, yeah, co ex ex uh, accidentally, you've got the yellow line coming up here, which is the, in my opinion, if I remember correctly, yeah, 200 week moving average, which will be a super, super important support level for Bitcoin as well. For Bitcoin, it's around 22K. So here, apparently, it's around 1200 or 1100 to 1200 um, dollars. Yeah, that will be very, very interesting. Yeah, that would be a significant drop. Uh, I think it will smash a lot of altcoins down. That is certainly a possibility, I think a very likely one, should we drop below $1,700 level, uh, be below that level, yeah? And then we would have the way 5, C, 2, and 5 here end pretty much at $1,200 or, yeah, because it will go up here in the next few days. It's going up every day. The longer this takes, the more this is going to go up. But yeah, this would be quite a significant and long wave 5. Um, would not be a problem, yeah? As long as the wave 3 is not the shortest wave, all of that decent, yeah, and possible. Um, shorter upside potential in the very short term, absolutely possible. I always need to, to talk about that. So short term upside, as I just said, in this box here, still possible all the way up to 2430 before we turn around, yeah? But I even though I think possibly we could see here short term upside, and there are a few things that, um, yeah, make that very likely, we probably haven't seen the low yet. So this is currently a very, very interesting and important area. We need to be very, very careful. I have to watch and observe the charts very closely because any small impulse here, yeah, how, how is this to, you know, how do I judge these impulses? Is this an impulse? Is this just corrective? I have to be very, very careful because at the moment we've come down to a critical level. We've come down to that $1,700 level. Bitcoin has reached its target area. Ethereum already reached its target area a long time ago. So the, the prices can now move up. Yeah, I wouldn't have any problem with that. The low could be in. Even if I primarily expect another drop down, the lows can be in. Everybody needs to understand that. I'm not telling you anymore that prices have to go lower. I've been doing that for the last six months. I can I tell you now that prices can go up. They don't have to, and we need to wait for clear signals in the market. And primarily, I still believe that we are going to drop lower. But short-term upside, certainly further possible because we're going to see here probably on the four-hour chart a bullish crossover on the ADX. We might break above the 50 level on the four-hour here. We have already a bullish um, crossover here on the MACD on the four-hour. Now it will be interesting if we actually cross the zero line. Eight-hour chart, bullish crossover here as well. RSI coming up, trend increases. 12 hour chart just before making a bullish crossover. And if we get a bullish crossover on the daily chart, that could really lead to a, a longer recovery. And certainly we could fill out that entire target area here for the way four. But the minimum has been reached. So observe the charts closely. At any point we could turn around here. And um, we're currently above here the $1,928 level. That is the 61.8% Fibonacci level. That is the most relevant Fibonacci level and is currently acting as support. So you can watch that level. And if we break below this level at 1923, I believe we are going to go down to 1700. If we lose that, then yeah, then we could certainly drop to that $1,200 level, the 200 week moving average. So hopefully that makes sense in terms of what ETH is doing. Hope you understood. And um, yeah, if you like the update, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.